Hey y'all and good morning. I am about to leave for work. So I'm wearing just this orange, orange tangerine color top and white sweater and some jeans that I rolled up and these little sandals. So I got the sandals from Target and I wish I could find the same sandals but in black. So I'm gonna look again today because I don't think, I don't know if they carry them in black, but I wish they did. I made my bed. I got ready to go. It's before nine o'clock and I'm about to head out the door, which is amazing because when do I ever do that? I actually am running a half hour behind of what I intended to do. So I intended to leave the house at 8.30. So um, tomorrow though, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And the reason I'm doing that is just because I'm trying to be more intentional with my time and more intentional with the things that I do and the things that I spend time on so that I have time to do the other things that I really like to do as well. That didn't even make sense. If I'm trying to be intentional with the time that I'm spending, then why spend it on stuff that doesn't, yeah. Anyway, I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make sure that the stuff I spend my time on is worth it. And the reason that I'm a half hour behind is because I was putting some stuff away, which needed to be put away. Probably could have waited till tonight. But anyway, I put it away this morning. So I just, in my mind, I was gonna put it away tonight. So that's why I'm a half hour behind. So I'm gonna shut off all the lights get out the door and have an awesome day. I think I told you guys, uh, I have volunteered to use my home for a gathering, like a little uh, book club thing, book club meeting, which is awesome. But also that means I have to make sure my house is ready to go. So I had sent myself an email last night and you know here's the things you need to get done lisa before next not this wednesday but the next wednesday so i i'm gonna have time but i just want to just go ahead and start thinking about it getting the stuff checked off getting the stuff done so that i can um be more relaxed about it because that's one of the things like if i wait till the last minute which i do not like to do then I'm more stressed about it. Then I'm more like, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm really trying hard to um what was that? I'm just trying hard to like set myself out, but not get obsessed with like making lists, you know? Because I think I don't think that's healthy either. Oh, the cats need cat food. Hang on. All right, change of plans. Uh, the electrician is going to stop by and see what's the problem with the breaker. He may be here because the cats are now looking outside. No, not yet. Um, <gasps> okay, so apparently they sent out, or they, they sent out, the boss came out to fix this and it's just moving a breaker. He said it's gonna take him about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up my car and getting ready to go and then I'm gonna get on with my day. It's 9.07-ish, so I'm still not too far behind. Um, yeah, not too far behind. But like tomorrow, I really do wanna leave by like 8.30, if not earlier, just to get my day started. And I think I get a lot more done and I've got phone calls to make this morning and I've got follow-ups to do. So it's important that I get to work pretty quickly here. Um, just so I can knock those out of the way. And yeah. So I do have things to do. Like I said, like, oh, I don't have anything to do. I do have things to do, y'all. Uh, just, you know, I just wanted to get those done in the morning. Knock those off my list of things to do and follow up on. So that if we're, we have any like issues with the lease that we're trying to do, we can go ahead and address them now. So anyway, that's all. I'm just rambling now. So let's go, I'm gonna pack up my car. Pack up my car. I sound like I'm going on like some long haul trip. I'm gonna put the like my laptop and my book bag in the car and my water in the car. So all I have to do when he's done is get in my car and go. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks and I want to talk about morning routines. Do you have one? Do you follow a morning routine or like a schedule? Things that you do every single morning? Um, I don't anymore, but I'm trying to start back. 
I used to get up and then I would like do some stretches and I would do some like meditation, quiet time, and yeah. And I can't even remember the other stuff that I used to do in the morning. I think I did a blog post about it. Maybe I should go read my blog post. But this past Friday and today, Monday, I got up at 6.15. Like, what? Snapchat is doing this really weird thing where I'm saving my video, my little story right here. Then I post it to my story. And then it's only coming up like halfway. The screen's only halfway. Anyway. I got up at 6.15 this morning, I made the bed, I cleaned the cat box, did I feed the cats? I fed the cats, I made Marvin breakfast, and by making breakfast I hard boiled him some eggs. So go me. I also got his coffee started, and um, the living room is straightened up from the night before because I've been trying to do that so I can have a better start to my morning. But I want to know, do you guys have like a... I get up at 6, I do this at 6.20, and at 6.45 I'm doing this, and I'm out the door by then. I do prep on Sunday nights, or Sundays, sometime on Sunday. I do some prep work, like for the coming week, like so I'll know what I'm wearing and stuff. So I don't have to worry about that in the morning. And, um, but like, what time do you get up? And what time are you out the door? Now Marvin gets up like between 5.30 and 6, clo usually closer to 5.30, and he like, reads the paper. Yeah, he still reads the paper, like the actual paper, not online, like an actual paper, which is a whole nother story. But I was just wondering, what time do you get up? What do you do in the morning? Do you have a set routine? How does it work for you? And that's what I wanted to talk about today. So let me know, leave me a comment, DM me or whatever. Let me know, what's your morning routine? Also, if you play Words with Friends too, friend me or like start a game with me. Uh, you'll probably win. And sometimes I hear back the the replay of the video, friend me, We're, play Words with Friends too. So I told the Instagram friends, my friends on Instagram, if we're not friends on Instagram, why aren't we? Our gray house. But anyway, I told them when I was at the store just a minute ago, I tried to get in the wrong car. One thing about long hair is like, if you put the book bag on your shoulder, then the hair gets in the way. Anyway, I was telling Instagram a while ago, <laughs> when I was at the store, I just tried to get into the wrong car. Like, it was a red car right next to my car. So I walk up to it and I'm like, wait, there's no like little button. There's a button where I push and that unlocks the car. And there's no button and I'm like, Okay, so I take a step back, like half step back, because there's a car behind me, and a lady is like loading up her groceries in that car. And I'm like, oh, like, oh, this ain't my car. And then the lady's like staring at me, so I go, oh, this is not my car. And I'm thinking, she probably thinks like I'm trying to break into a car. So then my car is like right next to the car I was trying to get into. So I quickly go around and I open it and like I get in and I start it because like I want her to know, like, no, no, really, I just, I was at the wrong car. It's, it's, people make those mistakes. <laughs> so like, but the car is darker than my car and I have a Hyundai, that was a Toyota Camry. So yeah, I just, so like I was telling Instagram, don't, when there's like, if something happens and you need a police report made, don't ask me about the getaway car because I will not know. Like I would just say, it was a blue car and it had four doors. That, that's as far as you're gonna get with me. So here's what happened today. Jessica and I went to several model homes, probably like eight, and we didn't film at a single one. So silly, so silly. And I feel like, oh my gosh, like we spent all this time and we forgot to film because we were talking and talking about what we were gonna post and how we were gonna post it and what her plans are for her Instagram and what my plans are for mine and all that kind of stuff. So we did not really get to what we wanted to get to, but that's okay because uh, we got some good planning done and it always helps to have a really good plan in place so you know where you're going and what you're gonna do. And now it's 10 after four. So I'm gonna get ready to, I came to drop off my stuff at the house. I'm gonna go get ready to go and meet 
um, Starbucks Amy at Posados in Mesquite over by the mall. So, um, man, I'm hot. But when I'm done, I'll probably try to stop by like at home or Target or something and look at their pillows and see what I can knock off my list of things that I need for the house. The cat keeps trying to like lick my feet. Weird. Ugh. But, um, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to really not be able to. I'm not sure if I'm going to film anyone I'm with her just because it's just our time. It's our time to connect and kind of show some support to her as she's going through the things that she's going through. So, um, that's where I am today. It is hot outside. Y'all, it's hot. And it's just, it's just June. <laughs> so it's not even like the hottest months here. But, um, it's been a good day so far. I got some pictures taken, which I can post on my Instagram. And I'm excited about that because I do like model homes. They're really, some of the, the decor that they put in there and the layouts of those homes and the functionality of the homes is really, really cool. So that's always fun to kind of take a look at. And then it kind of brings me back to when we were building. I'm like, I remember the smell. I remember the, the, the stuff on the floor. I remember, you know, just little different things about our build. And so I was kind of like, oh, I remember. And it wasn't even that long ago. It was just a few months back. So I'm going to go work in. Marvin is out in the heat in the garage doing the uh, priming the Adirondack chairs in the front. So the main wall team of my Air Force Wing Moms page, uh, the team that kind of mans that main page there, they got together and... Um, gifted me the monies to be able to get these Adirondack chairs and had my dad make them. And so it's super, super duper special to me. So yeah, that's, that's how that all came to be about. I didn't realize it until my birthday. So anyway, um, going to have him paint them the same color as the front door. I don't know if we have the paint left over, but if we do, that'll be great. And then, um, we're going to, I'm gonna get my dad to make me a side table and I'm gonna paint that white and can't think of anything else. I have ideas for the decor, but also the ladies that are coming to book club have a lot of great ideas too. So hopefully either one of them will offer to sketch out some things for me or we can just talk about it and I'll throw some ideas or so, throw some Pinterest boards my way so I can go, oh yeah, that's what I want. Uh, I know everybody says like, oh, you go to Pinterest. Well, yeah, but I like to see real life stuff. Like how's somebody really doing the space up? Not just like picture perfect. But anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna get ready to go brush my hair and freshen up my makeup and stuff, brush my teeth and get ready to go to eat dinner with Amy. Since I still have time, I just asked Marvin what he wanted for dinner. If he wanted me to start something, if he wanted me to go pick something up, what? So he wants me to go pick up Chicken Express, two-piece white, mashed potatoes, gravy, extra gravy, and coleslaw. And this handsome man is working in the heat to prime my chairs. I figure it's the least I can do for him since he is um, priming my chairs. Chicken Express is not that far away and yeah. I'm an exceptional wife and this is what we do sometimes. Go and get takeout for our hubbies. Quick stop in Dollar General because um because <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I was like seeing that these are these are all plastic. Some of them look ceramic. But looking for washcloths and home decor items. I think I'm on the wrong aisle. I'll just dump stuff down here. Like for the front porch, um, Marvin was going to paint the the Adirondack chairs white. I mean, same color as the door. Now I think he's going to do white. So just looking for some other things to put on the front porch as well um, as in the house in general. Like, okay, these little galvanized buckets are like super cute. But, oh, it says something on it. Flowers and garden. Well, that's not really me. <laughs> But I was looking to see if they have any outdoor pillows to put on. Well, we'll, we'll keep looking. So I've actually been watching some DIY stuff on YouTube. And like they were recreating and mimicking like Pottery Barn stuff. And so I thought, I can do that. 
but I need to get my house in order first. <laughs> then I can start doing other kinds of videos and I can start doing other kinds of projects for the house. And some of the projects are actually just gonna be just for fun, like I'm probably not gonna keep them in my house, but you know, I enjoy making things. So I think it'll be fun. But like I said, I need to get the house in order first and I need to get caught up on my daily vlogs before I start creating more videos. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Also, I have that chalk couture um, project. It's a Christmas present present from 2018. It's June though, so it's not July quite yet. Last year, I got the presents out for the Christmas before in July or August, <laughs> so I'm ahead of schedule. I'm like if I get them done soon. But um, yeah, I came to buy washcloths possibly one of these candles if I can see one that looks cute and might go with what I'm trying to do. Then I'm going to go home, pick a winner for the giveaway that I did, and yeah, just uh, see what other things I need to do around the house to get it ready for um, guests to come again. And quite honestly, I mean, we're ready for guests because we've already had guests twice at the house now, but just want to be ready, ready. My Dollar Tree never has near the type of um, selection as I see that gal when she does her is that sir? I'm trying to see if this is like real terracotta I mean kind of sounds like it for a dollar that might be cute on the patio I mean on the front porch but it's not what I came here for is it? no it's not that's how I get distracted by projects that I don't need to start when I haven't finished the other projects. I have like 20 of those Christmas things that I'm presents I need to do, and then I have that just fell. I didn't even do anything. Um, I have like 20 Christmas presents to make. You must be rearranging the store. Which, when they do that, that's frustrating because then I don't know where stuff is. But, anyways. I'm gonna do videos. I gotta uh, edit and upload videos. I've got to. Maybe they're closing down the store. It just looks like. I'm like, like, look. See all the empty shelving space and down there. Who knows? But. Aww, those are cute. <laughs> no need for it. No need for it. I am looking. Okay, so what I came here for was Posh Cloth, and I'm in the home decor aisle. This is where I get into trouble, y'all. But, I just recently saw them do a craft with this. Not the exact same one, but almost similar. And she did this mirror project where she had all these mirrors that she attached together that she found at Dollar Tree. Maybe a, maybe a bigger one, I don't know. But, okay, let me go look for a washcloth. Focus, focus, focus. Didn't find any washcloths at Dollar Tree, so I know they have them at Dollar General, so I can always go back there. And I'm gonna head home now to Marvin. Okay, I picked a winner for the Rubbermaid Brilliance giveaway, and I posted it on my Instagram stories. So if you didn't see, it's there. I'm also about to post another, just post to my regular feed. So I'm adding it there as well. I am so pleased and happy. We had, and I say we because one of my daughters was helping me. This was in partnership with Rubbermaid. We had over a thousand entries and for me that's just like phenomenal. Like <laughs> last giveaway I did, I think I had, I don't know, like a hundred. So this was like, what? Like this was mind blowing. And so I did the random number generator to find the winner and then I had to find that number on the comments it was like crazy but i was i was happy to do it i love doing giveaways i love winning so i hope that um the gal that won i hope she's excited she sounded excited i dm'd her she's like oh my gosh tell them thank you so um it was a lot of fun to be able to be a part of that and that's one of the things that i just like with partnering with different brands is that i get to do things like that and um like <laughs> She really sounded excited in the in the DMs, so that makes me super happy. But remember I told you guys that I'm trying to get to bed by 10.15? Well, it's almost that time, so I need to go ahead and get ready for bed. 
but um, I did um, edit another video, another vlog, and got that up. And then um, I started working on another one. So like I'm like doing like little chunks of stuff. And I did the postings for tomorrow for Wing Moms. And I didn't do much more in here, but I did go shopping for some washed wash washed clothes. Wash cloths that I'm going to put in the guest bathroom. I had that little basket. Did I show you? Let's go look at it now. Okay, so we're in the guest bathroom of the guest bedroom. There's the guest bedroom. And so in here, I have this little thing. I actually won it uh, at a realtor event. And then I'm going to put a candle on this little miniature cake stand, cupcake stand, I guess you could really use it for. And then of course I just have that, but I have the little bird. I'm gonna buy one of those tiered stands and probably put that in the corner with the bird on there. I saw one of the model homes had a bird on there. I'm like, I already have a bird. So I'm gonna try to find probably, hopefully a black tiered stand is what I'm hoping to find. Um, but anyway, if not, oh well, I'll, I'll figure something out. But otherwise I'll just put some fresh flowers. But what I'm gonna put in here is just going to roll up the washcloths and just, you know, fill it up with washcloths because it's pretty inexpensive to do that. I think it was like five washcloths for five dollars or something at Dollar General. So it's not too expensive and I don't have to roll them super tight. So I'll kind of roll them a little bit loose. But that way I'll fill that up with just some washcloths and um, maybe put a hand towel in the bottom just for like filling up the space a little bit and then I'll be kind of done besides art in that guest bathroom like like with the decor that I'll be what I feel is done um, and oh on that tiered stand I'll probably put something like a bar of soap which I have some white soap already that I purchased and I'll do some like white soaps and maybe like a an essential oil or something on there or like some lotion or something you know just some like little just little things like that and then um, that doesn't have to be done by the time that people come to the house next week but I'm just kind of trying to make it nice you know um, because I've already had guests here so it's not like oh I have to get ready but I'm kind of wanting to complete some spaces so I can just go okay that's done I don't have to think about that or worry about that anymore um, and then in the guest powder bath it's super plain. Um, I do have it just like a little wicker basket that I can put, like I have an extra roll of toilet paper in there, but I don't have anything like, wow, that's cute. Cause it's just like plain. So I'm going to try to see what I can do to kind of dress it up and jazz it up a little bit in there too. But, um, yeah, I'm having fun. I just was um, about to post something on Instagram. It's the one about the Talibera tile, and that's the Mexican style tile. It's colorful, it's got like energy and like life to it, and that's what I want to put in that backyard. You know that little corner space I was telling you guys about in the backyard? That's where I want to put it. So anyway, enough rambling about that. It's time to go to bed because I am going to try to get up about 6.15 again in the morning so that I can spend some time with Marvin. <sighs> Isn't that sweet? And um, just make it a great day tomorrow. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for entering my giveaway, those that entered my giveaway. I really do appreciate it. Be on the lookout for future giveaways because I have a couple more things coming up that I'm like, yay, excited about. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But thank you again. Don't forget, be kind to others, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.